Getting to know the calendar is a great first step towards figuring out the day-to-day -day use of the software. From the navigation bar, click the Appointments tab. This will bring us directly to the calendar, which is where we will book and manage appointments from. Let's start by looking at these two mini calendars in the left sidebar. These give us a two-month view and are also interactive. We can click on any date to go to that calendar day, and we can also use the navigation arrows at the top corners to navigate to future or past months. There is a similar functionality here at the top of the main calendar with this small calendar icon. This pop-up also gives a two-month view, and we have the drop-downs to quickly switch to a different month or year. Whenever we are on a different day on the calendar and not the current day, we will see this Today button and can click on it to quickly get back to today's calendar. Going back to the left sidebar, we'll see these three tabs. The first tab is the Check-in, Check-out History tab. As we're looking up customers, we will notice the system creates a list to help us keep track and easy access to those customer profiles for the day. The next tab is the Clipboard tab, and we can use this to reschedule appointments. To learn how to reschedule appointments, please check out the Rescheduling Appointments video. As we book appointments, we'll notice that some have different icons in the top right corners, and they all have different color bars on the left side. And that is when this third tab comes in handy. This key tab is used to find out what all these icons and color bars mean. Please remember that these cannot be customized. At the top of the time column is a button with four arrows pointing outward. Clicking on it expands the calendar to a full screen view, giving us better visibility of our service providers. This is especially helpful during the busiest days when we have more staff working. We can click the same button to get back to the regular calendar view. There is a similar functionality with this small arrow pointing out to the left that we see along the time column. Clicking on it will hide the left sidebar, once again giving us better visibility of all the service providers scheduled to work this day. We can make that sidebar reappear by clicking on the same arrow along the time column. Notice all the staff members listed here at the top of the calendar. This is being shown because we are currently working in the staff view, which is the most common to use on a day-to-day -day basis as it lists all the service providers working that day. But there are other ways to view the calendar by clicking into this dropdown. The first option we're going to see in the dropdown is the rooms view. As we know, rooms are required to have and can be any place at the business where services are provided, like a salon chair or a float spa room. From the rooms view, we can see where appointments are booked and if we need to reschedule appointments to different rooms, we can do that from here. We can also book an appointment from this view and depending on our business type, booking from the rooms view may work best. We can continue scrolling through the calendar views and we'll find a list of all our staff members. Clicking on Angel Smith will show her schedule for this week and this can be very helpful if a customer requests to book an appointment with her. We can get back to the day view of the calendar from the drop-down, or by clicking on the date along the top here. A couple of other ways to switch to the week view of a service provider is by clicking on their name from here, or using the staff menu by clicking on the downward arrow to the right of the staff's name. This menu gives a few other options to change for this specific employee block out time, edit their schedule or the services they provide, subscribe to the calendar, which is commonly used by staff members to connect this booker calendar with a personal calendar, such as Google Calendar or iCal, and hiding the column. This menu may have limited options based on the login role that is accessing it. By default, the calendar is going to list the staff members in alphabetical order by first name, but we can make changes to the order if we'd like. For example, if Heather should be set as the first staff member listed, we can click on her name, drag it over to the first column, and drop it there. Once we have the view set up to our liking, we can save it by clicking on this file icon at the top right of the calendar. There are two options to save this view. We can set this as the default view, so every time this specific login accesses the calendar, it will be seen in this order. Or we can choose Save Current View As, which will save the current view, and we will need to assign a name for this, and once we save it, the system will notify us. 
we can access any saved view from the drop-down of calendar views all the way at the bottom under Saved Day Views. Let's look at those other action icons we have at the top right of the calendar. The person icon shows all the service providers. Anyone with a check mark next to their name in the scheduled section is regularly scheduled to work on this day. And we can quickly and easily remove and add staff on a day-by-day -day basis in case someone calls out sick and another employee fills in for them. Some of us may have freelancers at the business. In Booker, freelancers are on-call employees that do not have set schedules entered into the system. They will not automatically appear on the calendar and we will need to add them in manually on the days they work. We see Amy here is a freelancer and she lets us know she's going to work on this day. In the freelancer section, check the box next to Amy's name and click show selected. Now we can see Amy on the calendar. And this is how freelancers will show up, again, due to them not having set hours, but we can still book appointments with them. Anytime that staff schedule deviates away from the regular schedule, this yellow person icon will appear and clicking on it reverts to that regular schedule. The magnifying glass will show a few customization options. The column width allows us to widen the calendar columns. We just need to click and drag that black bar from right to left to change that. The time zoom allows us to change the increments of time we see on the calendar. A 15 minute increment is the default here, but we can change it with a click, drag, and drop of the black bar. Be aware that for time increments, this will only stop at pre-designated increments along the line. At the bottom is the setting Show in progress appointments. With this enabled, the calendar will notify us with a shaded appointment that this is in the process of being booked whether internally or online. This is helpful when we are also booking an appointment and looking for an available time internally. With the print icon, the business can print the calendar itself, staff and customer itineraries, as well as all appointments. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.